everybody, it's Audrey. I have a super cute Halloween decoration project to share with you today. It's a little stuffed bath I designed a pattern for for Thermoweb. And what you're going to need to start off are some mixed media sheets. I have the heavyweight mixed media sheets and I have actually put it right through my printer. These sheets go right into your printer and I have printed off the wing pattern um, right onto the sheets and I'm going to cut them out. You can um, get this pattern for free on the Thermoweb blog. So if you just go to the blog post that I'll put in the description at the bottom, um, you can go and get yourself the pattern for the wings and the body. So I'm just cutting it out really fast here. And um, if you don't have the mixed media sheets, you could um, absolutely use felt or um, fabric. However, if you use just plain fabric, you definitely want to have it be stabilized. So any type of... Um, any material that's going to be a um, kind of a heavier weight material. So <clears throat> I'm going to cut these out and then I'm going to break out some of my um, just cheapy black acrylic paints and give them a nice coat of black. So with the um, heavyweight sheets here, one thing I noticed um, when painting them, because I've painted and used them on a couple other projects, is that you have to paint both sides um, it, and, it, and it also really soaks up the paint a lot. So make sure that you um, paint both sides and if you add a little bit of water to help thin your paint out, um, it absorbs um, the water and um, helps the, the paint, the, the thinner the paint, the easier it will spread and absorb. So, and I'm just gonna put these to the side to dry while I get busy on my next step. So. For the next step, you're going to have to have the um, body pattern printed out on just a plain piece of copy paper. So I just printed this out right um, on some plain paper. I'm going to cut this out. And um, this is going to make kind of like a cone-shaped body. Now the reason it's in two pieces and not um, one piece that you could just fold into a cone is because we're going to sew the bat wings um, on the sides and in, in between the two seams. So we have to have two pieces so that we can sew each wing on each side. So I'm just pinning these um, to some black felt. I wanted to make my body out of black felt because I wanted it a little bit heavier weight and I wanted to have kind of that texture that felt gives as well for the body. So I've gone ahead and cut those out and now I have my all my pieces here and I have my um, wings as you see they are dry. I'm going to put them on a craft mat and I'm going to be using some um, deco foil liquid adhesive and I'm just going to rub that liquid adhesive right on the wings with my finger and I'm going to let those dry just for a few minutes because I've really put a really thin coat on and then I'm going to grab a sheet of the black deco foil which is going to add a really nice shine and shimmer to um, the wings here so the wings are sticky side up and the foil is um, silver side down. And then when I peel them off, you can see, you can see the, how the foil came off or the black foil came off there from the uh, transfer sheet. And you can see that nice little shimmer that is added to the wing. Now I wanted to add a little bit more detail. So I'm going to take the deco foil liquid adhesive again, and I'm just going to draw some kind of, um, I don't know if they're wing lines, they're not veins, but um, lines, I guess. Maybe they're bones. Who knows? Yeah, I guess they're bones. Some lines of bones on the bat wings. And you got to let these dry for a long time. You're supposed to let them dry until the glue is tacky. And I let mine dry overnight and it was still tacky in the morning. So that was perfect. Um, the thicker it is, the obviously the more you have to let it dry. And then I'm just going back over with the foil sheet here and I'm going to add, um, I'm just burnishing that foil right on my, uh, lines of my on my wings just with my thumb so I'm just gonna go over that and you can see how the line the lines have come off the foil there so there's a neat little shot oh there you go you see a little, a little definition there with the shiny foil which just adds a, a great little touch okay now we're gonna assemble this guy and um, we're going to it doesn't for because I'm using felt it doesn't really have um, a right or a wrong side so I am going to pin the wings to one of the pieces of the body and you have to pin it so that they're going in, pointing inside towards the middle of the cone. You don't want the wings, the wings pointing out because you're going to be turning this inside out. So put each wing on each side and then stitch down the sides and then turn it inside out. And that's what I'm doing here. 
I'm kind of fiddling around with a screwdriver to turn it inside out. It is a little tricky to get um, the wing, the, the felt sewn closed um, and have the wings inside and then turn it out. And the wings um, are a little bit flimsy, so you have to be careful with them. But when you're done, you should have the wings on the outside once you turn it inside out. And it's kind of a pointy, weird looking shape. <laughs> um, for the bottom, I just slip stitched the bottom, I'm sorry, whip stitched the bottom closed. I thought it would be easier than trying to finagle that thing through my sewing machine. So um, yeah, so I just sent it through, or just whip stitched around the edge and left a little space so that I could stuff it with some filling. And I just put some polyfill in there. And you don't want to fill up the very tip. You wanna leave the very tip um, kind of empty so that you can fold it and roll it down. So I rolled it down a little about an inch and then rolled it over again to kind of create the mouth and face shape. And then I just tacked it in place with a few stitches kind of underneath so that they were hidden. And I noticed here that I'm so I'm sewing in front of me, but it's not actually on the screen. It's kind of hard um, to sew with that much attention when away from yourself. So I had to bring it closer to me to sew. And um, so then after I get the uh, mouth part um, kind of tacked down, I did go through and add a couple stitches just to kind of make the ear tips a little bit more defined. So I just went in about a quarter of it, half an inch, and just kind of stitched um, the corner to make a little ear shaped. And then I added two buttons for the eyes and sewed those on. You, you could, um, I thought about it afterwards, it might have been better for me to kind of decide where I wanted to place my buttons sew them on first and then fold the, the top of the cone down um, to tack it on but that was an afterthought and it worked just fine how I had it. I was still able to maneuver the needle um, through just fine. So anyway I added the two buttons on and for the teeth I actually cut out a couple pieces of um, scraps from the uh, mixed media sheets and I just glued the teeth on with some fabric fuse glue. Um, I do have to say that the wings of this were a little flimsy and I don't put this on camera because um, I, I did it the next day after it was done and I wanted the wings to be a little bit more stable. So I went through and on the back of the wings I added an, a couple extra coats of fabric fuse glue. If you have a Mod Podge that might work. I have also um, got suggestions of people using um, like a cornstarch mixture to help make it even more stable. So um, you do have to add something to the back of the wings to make them a little bit more stable. You could even maybe try machine stitching on some floral wire or something to give them a little bit more um, stability. But all in all, this guy came out so super cute. So without the foiling, um, if you didn't want to add those details, you really can whip this up really quickly. And here is the finished little guy just sitting in my hand. You could also, um, maybe if you wanted to, add a little bit of weight to the bottom with some um, rice or something else just to make it a little bit heavier, but he came, out, he came out just so cute. I love him. He's going to sit on my mantle for Halloween. Here's a whole bunch of little close-ups. He was kind of hard to photograph <laughs> being so dark and black, but um, anyway, go to the ThermoWeb blog and you can get the pattern for yourself and whip one up. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.